Am I the asshole? For refusing to let my husband move his father into our home. My husband's mom passed away late last year. It was very hard on him and his father. The holidays were rough. My husband is still struggling and I've been doing my best to be kind, supportive, and understanding. But he's been less attentive with our three kids 14F, 12M, 9M and I'm pretty sure he's struggling at work too but he won't admit it. He started therapy about a month ago and is going once a week. A couple weeks ago he brought up to me that he wants to move his dad into our house. He said that his dad is struggling too and that being in the house he shared with his wife the past 50 years isn't doing him any good. He had an entire plan laid out so it was obvious to me that he's been planning this for a while without talking to me about it. He wants to move his dad into the room that we had just moved our middle child into last summer. Before that, our two youngest were sharing a room so we did some renovations to make an extra bedroom so all our kids could have their own space. He wants to force our two youngest to share a room again so his dad can move in. He also wants to talk to his dad about putting their house on the market or possibly renting it out, which means Phil would be here long term. After he laid out his plan, he asked me what I thought and I told him my immediate reaction is no. I told him that barely any time has passed since his mom's death and it's too soon to make such drastic changes in everyone's lives. I told him his dad will get better with time and we all just need to take a step back and not rush into any decisions. He was not happy with my response and kept asking for specific reasons other than not enough time has passed. I suggested that we look into different housing options for his dad if he's uncomfortable in his home, which I get. His dad has enough money saved to afford a good retirement home or smaller condo, which would allow everyone to still have their own space. He didn't like that idea either because it would mean his dad is still living alone. I'll admit, there are reasons I didn't tell him. Seeing my husband deal with his grief has been hard especially since it's affecting his ability to be present with me and the kids. I really don't want a second grieving man in our house. I also really don't want to kick our middle child out of the room that we just made specifically for them. That isn't fair to them. But I know if I tell my husband this, he's going to think I'm being selfish, and maybe I am. Phil currently lives about three hours away so visiting him is difficult. We also live in a pretty rural area and the nearest town with respectable retirement homes is over an hour away, so even that option isn't ideally close, but it's still closer. I know it sounds selfish, but I just don't think I could handle two grieving men in my home. I can barely handle one right now. Not the asshole. It's not selfish to want your soon-to-be teen son to have his own room. Find an apartment near your home move dad there. Have him over to visit a few times a week. There are plenty of ways to solve this that don't involve packing your house full of people and are pending your family life. I cannot believe anyone is saying YTA to not wanting your Phil to move in permanently. We don't even know he would want that. Living with someone, never mind pushing your kids back into sharing a room indefinitely, is a big deal. Hard not the asshole. I think you all having a discussion about him selling up and buying a smaller place nearby is a way better option. Not the asshole. Don't let these comments guilt you for valid feelings. It's hard to live with a grieving person. I lost my dad in 2022 and I have been insufferable for my family to be around, I know this. So I can see how your husband's grief is affecting your family. I agree that moving Phil in your home may make this issue persist. I read another comment that mentioned getting him an apartment near your family, that sounds like a reasonable compromise. Info should your Phil need assistance and extra care who would be expected to take on the additional work? When it was time to move my grandmother in, my parents added onto the house and my aunts helped pay. Is something like this an option? Info how does your father-in-law feel about this? Has he mentioned feeling lonely and wanting to move closer? Or is this just your husband coming up with an idea because he's worried about his father? Not the asshole. How are you being selfish by prioritizing your child over a grown man? 
It's awful your mill has passed away. I am so sorry for your loss. Making both your children share a room after you just renovated so they didn't have to do that would create resentment in your home. Your husband is allowed to grieve but when you have children you can't just peace out. I think your solution to having him move closer makes lots of sense. Everyone stays independent but then your husband can visit your fill much easier. His dad has lived in that house 50 years and undoubtedly has friends around him. He also probably has good memories of being there with his late wife. Sounds to me like the son wants to ease his grief by bringing his father into his orbit. I'm a widow in my late 60s and I'd have a very hard time living with young grandkids again. And there's no way I'd give up my independence unless I was physically unable to take care of myself. In photos your Phil actually want to move? You should let his dad move while his house sells. Then y'all can build him a father-in-law suite on your property. Asian here. I don't know what culture you are all from, but in many Asian ones it is normal for aging parents to live with their adult children, under the expectation that they help babysit teach the grandkids and take care of the house. Under that arrangement, having in this case grandpa in the house stops him from being lonely, benefits you by freeing your time from childcare household chores and benefits the kids by having essentially a loving, live-in nanny and tutor. Has your husband even discussed this with his father? For one everyone says wait a year to make big decisions about life after an event like that. For another who says this man wants to leave his home of 50 years. It seems like your husband is projecting his own grief and trying to fix the problem when it just needs to be processed. Not the asshole. I think you said you lived in a rural area. What about a tiny house out back? Dad is close. Middle kid still has their room. Dad has privacy. Sale of dad's house could cover it. Nah. You both have solid reasoning, there is no right answer. I'm lucky, my wife was happy to allow my father to move in and she we takes great care of him. This was her choice and her doing, but to me that is what family is all about, but not everyone is me. I can agree with the not the are so less, but I also hope when you're 75 and you have a hard loss your children don't do this to you. In my culture you would be TA but in the West you're not the asshole. Not the asshole. 75 isn't that old. Moving him in just makes it easier for him to sit in his grief. He would be better served by grief counseling or grief groups. My dad is 92 and going strong so you could be committing to a couple of decades. Not the asshole but maybe there's a compromise. Is it possible to use the money from his savings to build a small apartment off the house on the property? Then he could replenish the savings with the sale rent of the home. This way dad isn't alone which I'm sure actually is hard for him but everyone maintains their own space and rooms. It seems to me that your husband wants his dad close and worries about him maybe this would help him move forward with the grieving process.